Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sessa here bringing us in a portfolio review video where I basically go through some of your portfolios and we just go through some just some dope stuff. Whether it's for gaining inspiration or just figuring out what to do for your own portfolio, just enjoy. So the first product that we have here is Stars Paddle by, it looks like a studio known as Strong Dreams. Just a quick little first look. It seems like the objective for this competition is to generate a unique audiovisual entertainment experience. So a, a, a pretty just generic, I really don't even really know what it is, but it, we're gonna take a quick scroll. Unfortunately, my Spanish is not too great, but okay, it's, it's tennis, paddle? It's paddle tennis. Regardless, taking a nice quick scroll, we get a very, very dope idea of like this usage of this, like these really cool geometric shapes, these gray tones, and over like honestly, this sort of like color scheme, this this Pantone, RIP Pantones. I don't know if you guys heard the news, but Adobe and Pantone are having this situation. You might have to pay twenty four dollars a month for your Pantones. So just. I just found that out. Yeah, sorry. Regardless though, this is a really good look with that kind of very, it just automatically makes it feel a little more sporty, a little bit more kind of aggressive with this really nice sort of like pinkish red tone, that gray tone just makes it feel for me immediately like really like sporty. There's no other way to put it besides sporty, right? Now, even diving into the more specifics and the design direction for this actual campaign, you get a lot of different scenarios, even in the actual product itself, where you have this really cool featuring of this really like just simplistic like geometric pattern, like repeating line texture on this very sort of like gray tone black background uh, idea here even making it more so the sort of like geometric shaped gradient it's not like a full gradient it's kind of sliced into these sort of like you know lines or linear kind of like pattern it just kind of makes it feel like this more like ui element meets these really sort of basic tones of patterns and that really like like stark color scheme it looks honestly phenomenal and what a really like simplistic way to kind of uh utilize those very simple components right even with this sort of frame right here we kind of have this sort of like bracket going on i have personally never about like never thought about doing this but this little little four quadrant thing we have like one sort of like a uh, stock image over here then you have that line how we talked about then we have that more simplistic line pattern of like geometric shapes and we had another like sort of like more geometric shape pattern this little four quadrant thing although they're very different all have that same color tone and just honestly makes this really cool to look at never never in my life have i thought about doing something like this so honestly i appreciate this because i might go ahead and just run myself in this direction in in one possible campaign uh it looks honestly really really dope and scrolling down more we have head <laughs> come on bro what a very very dope art direction just something i want to just kind of point out that it's it's really phenomenal honestly up next we have andromeda with this nip esl pro league i'm guessing art direction match day asset the immediate thing that pops out is the color usage you have kind of this green these blue tones this pattern with this very sort of raw-esque like outlining of these objects here realistically there's not much going on with this product besides the fact that he combined again color patterns some sort of like matrix s kind of like pattern that he also moves a little bit with the actual motion design and then lastly that kind of collage theory so realistically there's only like very much so like five or four elements that are happening in this project but it makes it honestly very very dope to look at and yeah i actually really do enjoy as well this sort of like random rectangle this i wouldn't say random but this sort of like you know placeholder rectangle that places all the information inside while all the whole background kind of plays that same theory so it realistically feels like this kind of like really dope photo shoot and all the information is literally in this white box again a very very different idea in theory but it, like for me personally i would i would more or less kind of place information on like the whole background itself but you kind of let the background play its own role have the foreground play a separate role and that's really really dope and a, and a really interesting thing as well there's a lot that's going on here and i want to say i appreciate this andromeda and uh, honestly you killed this product for me next we have some thumbnails by tapie that I, this is just like a really cool thumbnail direction i've pretty much never seen this he's kind of recreating thumbnails from like different kind of scenes of like marvel or john wick or basically just really cool movies taking a quick little look we kind of have this like really i'm guessing these are done in blender there's no way he didn't model them themselves and these are some really dope renders especially this one right here it just it just kind of has like a lot of like the 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 texturing and, and the hope that you would see when you kind of see this like venom esque i have no idea carnage i have no which I'm not sorry regardless it looks really good the ones that really get me though are these really cool stills from this john whisk uh john whisk what the 
John Wick esque sort of like you know uh, uh Fortnite framings. Even like these, these, it looks really dope actually. The more I look at this, I'm guessing this was actually more based on like a cinematic, and these are thumbnails of the framing, not just like YouTube thumbnails, but like really really cool theories about this. Like imagine if, if like you kind of combine this theory with actually making like Fortnite thumbnails exactly, and kind of like saying like you know sneaky kill here and there with like this like very I don't know like dramatic shot. For me, it could be pretty cool. But one that caught my eye was this first person Fortnite look where you kind of have this obviously first person Fortnite look and it's something you, know, you don't really understand or really recognize and you actually consider Fortnite itself you usually kind of watch these cinematics are all in third person so when I look at these I'm like this is actually pretty sick I do think it's a lot harder in the world of like thumbnails and YouTube and at least gaming ones to actually really portray the right ideal in a first person perspective however done right I think it could be a really cool way like this shot right here this sort of like Fortnite character underwater and this like thing is about to eat them that is dramatic it feels dangerous almost feels like that sort of like uh uh you know general idea of how a mr beast would go about his thumbnails like when he kind of includes the fact that he, he i think mr beast likes to use the, the the idea of danger in his thumbnails and for me this right here there's nothing more dangerous than a shark about to eat you underwater that's terrifying this dude has a lot of skill and he's not afraid to use it, when it for what he loves i mean i'm really curious of what you would look like and do in like a, in a world of like doing scenes themselves i'm okay dude brilliant honestly brilliant if, hopefully you're doing someone's thumbnails out there and you're getting paid a lot because these are really freaking dope so next up we have mauricio para and as a star brand identity and i i saw this project and giving a little quick scroll again there is something about the way this person composes his actual projects themselves that already tell me this guy's theory that this guy's brain is massive I mean, for starters, I'm a, I'm a big sucker of the of the, the the grays and blacks and like one or two colors being sprayed here or there. It's just a, it's just a look for me. But again, exploring toward this like first half of this product, you even you just sort of like immediately kind of see the uh, the obstruction between the fact that this person is not scared to like follow grids, but also at the same time kind of just give it a, a quick fu by place. The, even this idea right here, he has this really dope sort of like ass star sort of like you know the actual company's watermark on top of it, the client, the source of the year. For some reason that that little frame right there very cool i would put that in a moon board for myself for some reason it just feels attractive to see and look at you keep on going you kind of see his logo breakdown as well this idea of having a star a rocket and some sort of like uh what do you like what do you call it the blasters you know what i mean uh it just looks really good in my opinion for some reason right he just cuts it up right here makes it kind of like a little asymmetrical there you keep on scrolling down this r is flowing into the typeface this whole thing has a lot of tension at the same time it also has a lot of flow and you cannot ignore the fact that this typeface over this like another typeface that i don't know this does not feel sexy to you honestly some some real dope portfolio fuel for when you guys want to make your own projects the way this person is going about it is very freaking dope and uh something as simple as a sort of star icon the fact that he's just using basically using like an asterisk star with like a nice little sans serif font for the overall like branding element or the pattern usage is pretty dope too it's a really dope way to kind of uh simplify the fact that you can just kind of make a very clean branding with just literally an asterisk or a star or or some kind of like geometric shape so it's really dope and uh yeah i mean millionaires have seven sources of income this is the this tagline so if you're you, maybe if you don't have seven sources of income you can't be millionaires the more you know who knows so following that we have core visuals with pittsburgh knights esports branding and this first little heading piece of this big uh pittsburgh what up this word pittsburgh is awful anyway i don't know not, not from you from pittsburgh but the, the actual way that you can just throw that word in while you're talking is just not freaking possible anyway what i was gonna say was this really cool like starting feature this sort of like gift that's happening at the top where like this multiple different pittsburgh's kind of logo kind of moving and in, in this really sporadic kind of way immediately tells me that i'm gonna look at this product it's gonna have a lot of high energy and based another gray tone color scheme so give this a little quick scroll as well we have this first sort of like introduction piece between like this nice versus pioneers uh idea here and one thing i do actually want to comment as well is the fact that we kind of have this really cool double exposure in the background with the actual lion's head and the sort of like cityscape in the background with like this texture of a uh, like sketchful kind of idea as well as with the combination of this like sort of like gray tone kind of like uh render with the actual gradient mesh effect on it which you can look on youtube to find it out by the way there's a few little afterthoughts here that i'm not entirely sure if i really enjoy as much like given the fact that the background is the sort of like render has a lot of this texture already there is this world where i also kind of feel like 
like the word you know the 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 knights backplate and the pioneers backplate didn't actually have texture on them so there's actual ways that the, i feel like there's a lot of background happening here but not a lot of foreground information that can be actually portrayed and seen very clearly kind of expanding on that theory of that grungy uh, kind of idea we have a little bit of like a tech introduction with this like really cool like uh dot and pattern uh you know pattern so honestly it's a pretty short project and i just want to also mention again i just had to throw this in because i did like that sort of background exploration between this sort of like really cool grungy double exposure idea but i think if you just tone this down just a tiny bit like reduce like this is a perfect like start like a perfect expiration reduce it by like 30 percent you might get this really clean look that is undeniably just phenomenal so next we have brands in motion by leo and this just seems like a really cool it looks like eight animations at 24 fps basically taking some really cool brands like duolingo air up and fitbit and uh giving them some motion so if i want to take a quick look uh let's just let's just look at duolingo for a second okay two languages combined together makes duolingo i got that one that was pretty sick uh air up it seems like all oh, the coasting by the way is really pretty on this i'm not really sure about air i don't really know what this is it's it looks like scented flavored water oh i don't like the word scent in my water like when i think scent i think perfume and i don't want to drink any perfume like anyone else is that just me okay maybe it's just me let's look at this fitbit animation though so we get this really cool sort of like circular uh oh this running into to a graph that kind of goes up in health oh, okay this guy is actually guys actually kind of cracked I mean, the, the running into the fact that it's like a graph saying like, if you, you know, you continue running, your, your health goes up into this Fitbit kind of idea. That's actually really, really freaking dope. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of these. This is Walmart one. There's an AT&T one, Patreon, and even TripAdvisor. I mean, homie not alone just kind of has his own kind of style when it comes to actually doing this motion, but plays a very, very key part of make sure he tells the story with the logo itself and also the branding itself and the overall objective of the brand. All in one little simple, quick little 12, you know, 10 seconds. That's actually really, really freaking impressive and something I would probably never be able to do without some, you know, maybe three years of experience. So very much deserving of this really, cool little uh this little thumbs up so this that was dope so last project for today is jacob fontes and his team it seems like i don't know if there's a studio name around but it seems like this is a really cool little sort of like fifa global series face off stuff going on here i mean just for this like little heading itself we're gonna get some blues some greens uh, a very simplistic uh kind of like maybe like wavy uh background-esque idea with like a little bit of a geometric uh pattern to it i mean the close game itself just basically to me just speaks european league of anything it just it kind of has that vibe that like over contrast pinks and greens and oranges that realistically shouldn't work together but they definitely do in the right scenario so we got another quick scroll down we got this nice little logo here as well we got a few different iterations of the logo itself as well well oh these are actually versions this is the version one which i actually think is pretty clean too version two is a little bit kind of in my opinion a little bit messier but the final version is a little more uh I would, how do you say like more straightforward and more badge like so honestly i can i can i can deal with the actual direction myself going into it though the art direction itself is pretty simplistic in its own right we kind of have this usage of of uh you know strokes and and fill colors with these really nice vibrant tones this more darker tone of background and uh, the gradients on these players themselves also look pretty freaking dope too right i mean just this single frame of this social media artwork you basically get to see what the objective is is that they use those colors they use that you know, more darker blue background that very very consistent uh you know wavy sort of textured um texture as well one thing i do wish though is that the, the the actual color corrections on the people themselves or maybe just a little bit more kind of like i feel like we lose a lot of the detail in the features they all feel kind of like flat facey kind of uh like super smooth almost like face tune like skin which I, I that can be the art direction itself which is like you know being applied but i think with a the, the grittiness and the and the the hypeness and the 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 sportiness the eagerness of like you know fifa i feel like there has to be a little bit of texture in the face for me personally but that's just also my idea of the art direction here but that's one thing i do feel like it's kind of lost because you kind of i can't i wouldn't say you can't really but it almost feels a little bit sort of like distant we get some 3d elements as well here with a little bit of a glitchy sort of like ghost like effect and uh, they probably have pretty a pretty big role i guess in like the transitions themselves just having like a few different 3d assets is a pretty huge idea as well like having that to just be played around with like using like a a mic for a transition or a uh a, a controller flipping up for a face off these are different like you know there's only six different elements there are four different elements that he has with the 3d elements but each of them can play a specific role and also kind of intertwine so it's also not a bad idea if you're a designer yourself and doing some really cool 2d element stuff and just having three or four or, or outsourcing three or four different like actual really dope 3d elements that you can play with it can actually go really really far and just literally just level up the branding of the whole entire art 
power direction just a little bit more when you actually do stuff like this so yeah honestly you guys killed this and uh yeah that's all i got so with that being said that is the end of this portfolio review video here today i'm gonna i'm probably gonna do a little bit more if you guys enjoy this stuff please 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 leave a like let me know in the comments below what your favorite project was and what you might do to improve on it i'm sure the people who are watching this video or and or learning from this video uh or getting inspiration from this video would love even more context of how they can make their own product better or this this their current bn's product better as well however with that being said if you guys do go to sesohq.com slash inspiration i did upload all my boom boards move Board, move, move. Mood boards, I've been doing this entire year. I think I had like 34 so far. And they all basically have a specific inspiration direction, whether if it's like the, the contents of using UI or the contents of using white space, type texture, effects, whatever it is, please give it a scroll. I think it's heavily, heavily worth it. And probably my favorite thing I've done so far this year when it comes to actually giving some stuff back to you guys, basically putting on all one page. But with that being said, Sessa HQ out. You gotta get a key smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love. Peace and uh, yeah, for record, this is my New York space. If I haven't said it already, if you guys weren't aware, I did say it last video, I think. But I'm currently in New York until January. I do have my LA set up still, but I need to like throw some stuff up here. So if you guys have any idea what I can do, that's like a little inexpensive because I'm leaving in like two uh, two months. Um, let me know. But yeah, I love you guys. Peace.